You know, Andrew Wallace is cross, angry and miserable like Bounty Killer. Wallace instructs attorneys to take legal action against PNP members for defamation. I see those things are going right now. No? The People's National Party made several false defamatory statements about when he came into awareness of an integrity commission probe concerning all different type of things right now. The man assets, the amount of money, all different type of banger are going right now. I think yesterday, Wednesday, they must have bomb chat up at the Prime Minister house. Which that was a lie. That must come out in the news right now. I say, oh, you are going, nothing like that. So, the people may wonder what's going on with Andrew Wallace. What's going on with the PNP? Mark Wallin right now, ready for box up Andrew Wallace. Justic. And kick him out of the seat. Comrades, it is a disgraceful blot on this government's record that maternal and child death rates are higher today than they were in 1995. Jamaica is going backwards under this government. Mothers and babies are dying. What happened, Andrew? How come you don't hear the dead babies now? I hear the spirit of a little baby crying. 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 Man disobeys order not to return. Shot dead. We are talking about Central Village right now at the current moment. Them order him not to return to the area. And him circle and him dope him. Listen to this. A former resident of Central Village was shot dead by a gunman when he visited the St. Catherine community on Wednesday. Residents told the news that the man who police did not identify up the press time was marked for death. He reportedly lived in the community at one point but was forced to flee the area some time ago due to a conflict. According to the residents, he was told by men in the area not to return to the community and if he did, he would face death. On Wednesday, he went into the area and was shot dead. All of us knew him. I said right now, sinners and backsliders have more right to tell God to come than some Christians. And the reason why I said it, the Christians them, the leaders them, that should bring in the sinners and the backsliders to God is the one that running them away from Christ. Oh! Most of these leaders are doing and Christian is bringing in vanity. That's all they care about. Vanity. Vanity. Not about the soul of sinners or backsliders. I said it without an apology. I said sinners and backsliders are more right right now to tell God to come than lot of us Christian. Because lot of us Christian, we know that no way no God. Lot of us leaders are nowhere in God. Listen, if God come now, 95% or 99.9% are going hell way in the building, said so my Christian and leaders. And I will not apologize for it. I will not. Because it is the truth. The people them who said they are leaders and Christians say, Lord God, look at it why God call us leaders greedy dogs. Hmm? 
Me say sinners and backsliders have more right to tell God to come. Because listen to me. Lot of us will say we are leaders and Christians. We know save. We know they know we're in our God. All we have is clues. All we have is clues. Listen, the building today become fashion house. No true worshiper, no did they. Listen to me. Everybody know what is. When they say they are in building, is camera. Camera. You wonder how they get to worship God. Showing off the clothes. But where are the souls that they bring into Christ? You know, can't hate me because you know, already hate me. Especially you know, leaders and Christians. Where the soul just as on our show off on our clothes. When I wear to the building. Where is the souls? Show the souls when I win for Christ. Show the souls when I sing. And they come to Christ by hearing your singing. Show the souls where you preach. Without telling lie. Without prophesying lie. And they come to God. Hmm? Where are the sinners? Where are the backsliders that are not bringing into Christ? Where are the sinners and the backsliders can say, listen, when you preach me, feel it. When you teach me, feel it. When you pray me, feel it. When you sing me, feel it. Where are they? Right now, our sinners and backsliders are fair. Encourage them one another. When you eat me on social media. But no pastor, no prophet, no pastor, no bishop pray and fast for sinners and backsliders like me do. And I will not apologize to that. Uno dress up, go to the building. Saturday, Sunday, sometime during the week. Show the sinners, them and the backsliders, want to bring to Christ as one who can show off on no clothes and no shoes and hairstyle and everything. And I know no going to come. Oh, I drop you, I drop word. I care zero when no want to stay. Because God going to ask you on that day, what have you done with your life? Where is the soul you say you bring to God? Save from when? And yet your husband not save. Your children in your house not save. Yet when you not see one sinners and one backsliders out there. You not ready to skin up them. You not face pan them and ready to speak tongue. And yet your ungodly husband and ungodly pit in the house. When you are past go to the building every Saturday, Sunday or during the week. And you can't say come go let us go to the house of God. Because a lot of them know say so you know not live. A lot of the husband know say so a lot of you know wife not live. A lot of the children know say so a lot of you know mothers not live. Mm -hmm. But yet, you don't want to tell the young women and the young men out there to come to God. What power you have in you to win souls for Christ? All some of you go out building a fight for position. 